And we actually have some news regarding NASCAR. And, of course, that is a new track for the 2001 season. And it's been announced that Nashville Super Speedway will host all three national touring series in 2001. The Craftsman Truck Series, the Bush Series, and the NASCAR Winston Cup Series will all be hosting a race at Nashville Super Speedway in 2001. It will be a sixth race for the Bush Series and the Winston Cup Series. It will be the fourth race for the Craftsman Truck Series in 2001. We're excited to have Nashville be on the schedule next season. And with that... The third new track on the 2001 season has been announced. Nashville Super Speedway will be joining Kansas and Chicagoland as three new tracks in the season. Kansas will be race number 28. Chicagoland will be race number 18 after Daytona. And then you got Nashville Super Speedway, which will be the sixth race of the year. And it's replacing Bristol Spring Day. Bristol will only have one day in 2001 for the foreseeable future. And that will be with the night race in August. But NASCAR would head into Dover. And my dumbass did not save the race file. So winning the race in Dover would in fact be Dale Earnhardt. Getting a 76 career win. A second win on 2000. There wasn't very much news heading into this weekend. So we'd head on into Michigan. And here we come. It's time to go racing in the Motor City of Michigan. Dale Jarrett, Bob Ilbani, we're racing in Michigan. And here we go. We got four wide in the corner. Tony Stewart on the outside lane. Oh, Stewart and Newman make contact. Around goes Tony Stewart. Oh, Tony Stewart upside down. Sterling Marlin in the 40. Terry Labani hits him. Adam Petty just rear-ended the back end of, oh, Kyle Petty in the wall. It was Adam Petty rear-ending the 97 of rookie Kurt Busch, who's substituting for Chad Little, who took in a break for a little bit. Man, that was a heavy hit. Run on that down on Adam Petty's car. And Bobby Labonte is going to come around the final corner to take the white flag he leaves an order over Ward Burton who been doing pretty well this year white flag is out for Labani Labani and Joe Gibbs racing this year not a lot of wins but today they're looking for their second win of the season does Ward Burton have anything he drives into a little bit of the notch of the 18 and it's down the back straight away Jarrett peeks the inside of Rusty Wallace and here he comes around. It's going to be Bobby Labonte taking the checkered flag for Pontiac in the Motor City. Labonte wins his second race of 2000. He takes a checkered flag in the Kmart 400. It would indeed be Bobby Labonte getting a second win of the season at Michigan. But it would be his teammate Tony Stewart who flipped in the race. And Tony Stewart said in the infield care center after the wreck saying, Am I first flip in the NASCAR Cup Series? Am I first flip in NASCAR in general? I didn't expect it to come here at Michigan. I expected it to come at Daytona or Talladega. Just goes to show that NASCAR is wild and unpredictable. But we go to a track that isn't wild, mm, kind of predictable, but is tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh, well, we got Chum here on the first lap, and it's the, and it's Kansas up the track, he makes contact with fellow rookie Dale Jr. Nita sliding through the infield grass. More involved, it's the four. Bobby Hamilton, the nine, Stacy Coppin. Oh, in Houston, up and over. Waltrip launches all four tires out the ground. And Andy Houston shaking up, but he's dropping the winner in that standing ovation from the crowd. Do we have any more incidents this year? I don't think we do. That that was a scary man. This is I, I don't even know anymore. Here we go, we got four wide. And it's trouble. Rod goes Dale and Art comes up from, from the field. Have you hit by Dale and Art or the Dale Jarrett? Oh and Earnhardt up and over. And he drives away. What an immaculate 
wreck right there by the Intimidator, Dale Earnhardt. Who survives that wreck and rolls away in Fitland. And how about it? For his third career win in the second of the season, Mayfield cautioned and checkered at Pocono. Mayfield would win what would be the most controversial race of the season in Pocono. A lot of drivers were not happy. One of those drivers being Dale Earnhardt who flipped. Dale Earnhardt said, That was one of the worst wrecks I ever had in my career. I could have seriously been killed. Kurt Busch, the truck series rookie who was running some races for Chad Little and Roush Renoy saying, That was slightly embarrassing for my third ever cup start. And so NASCAR would announce a new rules package for the second race there which would allow for more spread out racing, and they'd be shortening the race down to 16 laps from 20 laps. NASCAR would go to the first of two road courses in Sonoma that next week. And how about it, Tony Stewart, been dominated all day. Tony Stewart led every lap here from Sears Point. And how about it, gonna get wing two of the 2000 season. It's the 20 coming around, Tony Stewart, Win number five of his career. Tony Stewart would get the win at Sonoma in what would be a fairly calm race. Of course, the race would end in a caution on the final lap due to a smaller pileup. NASCAR would go into the July 4th race weekend at Daytona, one of the most anticipated race weekends in a while and here we go it's father son on the front row the final race on cbs is green we start off 1979 we ended off with the 19 or the 2000 pepsi 400 the green flag is underway from daytona Alrighty, we got some three wide back here that's Jerry Nadu, in fact, going to go up the racetrack just a little bit. Oh, he's going to go out of line, and he looks like he's going to work with Dale Earnhardt here. Some guys going to the apron right there. That's Ryan Newman. Michael Waltrip in the seven, one of them. Matt Kenseth right there. Got four wide right here, guys, and this thing going to be good. Oh, oh, Ricky run right around, and this is a crash. Around they go, and oh, Chad Little up and over. Chad Little barrel rolling. In turn one, or in turns three and four, Ryan Newman leads the first lap. And here comes the one of Steve Park. Steve Park on the inside. Still looking for that first career win. He goes the inside of Burton. And Steve Park leads that lap here. Excuse me there, and... Here comes Robert Presley in the Jasper Racing, number 77 on the inside. Here comes Presley out front. Robert Presley taking the lead in Daytona, but it's Bobby Labonte on the inside. Here comes Labonte, and here comes Jeff Byrne right there. Ryan Newman on the inside, three by three for the lead here in Daytona with John Andretti following right behind him. Newman leading this race here. In fact, from Daytona. Oh, look at this. Rick Mass making a bold move to the inside. Rick Mass in the 14. Four wide right behind him. Junior, Burton, and Treddy. There they go. Oh, this is going to be good around the go. Johnny Benson up and over. This is the big one, and it's happening at Daytona. Benson lands on his lid, slides down the infield. Caution out. Huge crash in the Pepsi 400. And here we go. It's going to be three to go. Here are the final three laps that we cover here on CBS in our history of covering the sport. Michael Walter bleeding it. Green flag back in the air. Dale Earnhardt looks to the outside. Earnhardt, does he have anything? Does he have the momentum? To get around anyone else. This, of course, is the first restart since we've seen that big wreck. With all those drivers, Johnny Vince and all of them, been confirmed okay by our camera crews. 
Michael Waltrip going to get a good restart here. And Michael going to have a good lead right now. Two and a half laps left. Earnhardt looking in third place. It's Jimmy Spencer in second. Jimmy Spencer does have a win six years ago in 1994 at Talladega. The 27 McDonald's Ford. He's going to get up to Michael now, and here they come around. It's going to be two to go. With Michael Waltrip leading, Earnhardt looks, peeks to the inside of Jimmy Spencer. It's two laps now for Michael Waltrip. He's rookie season 1982. He's driven so many race cars. And there's been some rumor mills that he's going to go to a 30 EI car next year in 2001. Well, that man right now in third place has to be impressive. Impressed with the run that the seven of Waltrip has been doing the day. His brother, Daryl, in his swung song season. To retire and enjoy retirement in 2001. Here we go. Next year, of course, this race will be on NBC, Fox, or the Daytona 500. Here we come. Michael Waltrip leads to the white flag. One lap for Waltrip. And can it be that first career win in his 18th, his 19th season? It's been 18 years of trying for him. A lot of frustrations. Nadu going to go. Working with Earnhardt. Leads him out the dry. Earnhardt and Nadu side by side for third. Waltrip leading Spencer. Waltrip has been looking for career win number one for a long time now. And here he comes the front straightaway. 18 years of trying. 18 years of frustration. Michael Waltrip comes to the checkered flag and wins the Pepsi 400 at Daytona. Yes. Yes, Mikey. You got it done, baby. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. That is awesome. Waltrip wins the Pepsi 400. And I expect a call soon from that man that finished their Dale Earnhardt soon.